How we doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here on the Pitt Panthers Football Network as we welcome you to Miami, Florida, and the Orange Bowl, the site where the Pitt Panthers are still chasing their first national championship since 1976, the Tony Dorsett-led team of 43 years ago. The Panthers still in contention to potentially win the national championship this particular season. They are taking on undefeated number one ranked Washington in a battle that should be an absolute showdown pitting one of the best passing offenses against one of the best rushing offenses in the country. And the Panthers will receive this ball and get things underway. They're just coming off a victory here in Miami as they beat the Hurricanes uh, in a great comeback in their final regular season game before beating Clemson in the ACC championship game to get their way into this particular bowl matchup. Taking on a Washington team that's unbelievable. You can see them second in the country in total defense, first in the country in total offense. It's going to be an absolutely massive matchup for the Panthers if they can come away with a victory in this one or even keep things close. That's how good the Huskies have been this year. And the Panthers will start off with a little bit of negativity there. Quadri Olison takes the handoff and goes nowhere. He'll be pretty much the main running back for the Panthers. They've had a two-back system this entire season, but Darren Hall now out with a neck injury. He's out for the rest of the season. Vita Vea also out on the defensive line for the Huskies. So we'll see how that impacts the matchups here. But Olsen now out of the shotgun on second down. Good solid six yard carry setting up third and four now for the Panthers. They come out three wide set. Pickett in the shotgun. Olsen to his right. Takes a look, surveys over the field, has a man breaking free. That's Trey Tipton, but he's overthrowing the Panthers, forced to punt the ball away on their opening drive here. Washington takes over near midfield, led by senior quarterback Jake Browning and senior running back Miles Gaskin. Gaskin has had an unbelievable season, almost 1,600 yards on the ground, nearly 20 touchdowns. Fantastic player, was in the Heisman contention until very late in the season. Browning now finds a man. That's Baselia wide open out to the left. Nice little out rough for Andre Baselia. Picks up 20 yards, and it's going to be an easy first down for the Huskies as they get second down now at the 20, very near the edge of the red zone. Browning, plenty of time. Looks underneath. That's Miles Gaskin, and he's going to get just enough for a first down. The Huskies into the red zone already in a battle of uh, dogs and cats. Gaskin now picks up six through the middle. He's down to about the nine-yard line, second and four now. Motion from the tight end as Browning changes the play up. He's in the shotgun, plenty of time. Back from pressure, comes through the middle. Delayed pressure from the Panthers, forces Browning to throw it away. Third and four now, another motion from a tight end here. As he sets up a heavy formation to the right. Browning, plenty of time, looks. He's got him in, that's Quinton Pounds, but he fights off a tackle. The Panthers gang swarm him up, and they force a fourth down, so the Panthers Panthers defense holds tough in the red zone. They've been very strong as far as not allowing touchdowns in the red zone this year, and they force Washington into a field goal, and they open the scoring here 3-0. Maurice French now ensuing kickoff return. He breaks to the outside. Plenty of room here for French as he's up near midfield, pushed out at the 49-yard line, 51-yard return for the electric junior uh, out of New Jersey. Great return from Maurice French, and the Panthers have some great field position on their second possession of the day. Six-yard carry for Olison on first down. He's going to set up second and four. Pick it here. I formation. They bring in super senior George Aston, the Swiss Army knife. Pick it though. Looks. Has no one really available. Uh, just gets it away without taking the sack. So it's going to set up a manageable third and four. Four wide set for Pickett in the shotgun. He's back. Looks. Nowhere to throw. He's swarmed and brought down. Sacked for a loss of seven yards. And the Panthers are forced to punt things away. And Kaiser Artis Scott gets a little bit over exuberant on the coverage there. Bumps into the Washington return man. And that's a personal foul. Fair catch interference. 15 yards. So instead of pinning Washington at their own 13, they're going to get the ball at the 28-yard line. A big mistake for the Panthers there, but they start things off greatly. Jake Browning on a read option keeps it, taken down by Celine Brightwell. Loss of three sets up third and 13. Now shotgun for Browning. Looks, he's got his man. That's Baselli out wide, but he's pushed out of bounds just barely. Phillippe Motley 
pushes him out, forces fourth down. The Panthers will take over, looking to at least even the score here. Olison out of the shotgun, gets plenty of room, another good solid carry, but he loses the ball. It looked like he was going to head out of bounds. He's stripped of the football. It's a huge turnover, and the Huskies recover. It's Wellington picking it up. Olison fought off two tacklers, looked to be going out of bounds, and the ball is just stripped from his hands and stays in bounds. Wellington recovers, and the Huskies will have great field position. The Panthers, who've been so sound with the football, at least in terms of running its concern, all year really. That might be Olsen's first or second fumble of the entire season. And just like that, Washington, great field position. And it's compounded 11-yard carry from Miles Gaskin. Sets up third and two. It's a reverse to McClatcher this time. He gets out wide, cuts it up, just gets enough for the first down. Four-yard run from Chico McClatcher. And it's a first down for the Huskies at the Panthers 25. Eye formation for Browning. Sends another tight end in motion. We know he's got two very good receiving tight ends, so it's not surprising to see Washington utilizing them here. And he looks this time it's McClatcher great defense the Panthers converged on him I think that was Artis Scott who knocked the ball free setting up third and ten and Browning is brought down the Panthers a delayed blitz that's Philippi Motley coming in from the nickel corner position brings down Browning and Washington will settle for another field goal pushing their advantage doubling it to six to nothing here early in the first quarter. But the Panthers still within a possession as they start over at their own 22-yard line. Pickett has asked in motion. Olison's got room. They go right back to Quadri. That's the trust that they have in this senior running back here. And he rewards it with a nice 12-yard carry and a first down out towards the 35. Read option. Now Pickett's going to hold on to it himself. He's got plenty of room out wide. Great block there. Maurice French took out about three guys. And Pickett is off to the races. Taken down at about the 15 after a 51-yard carry. Kenny Pickett showing off the wheels, and the Panthers are now in business. There's Olison stumbling his way forward for about six. 82 rushing yards here in the first quarter for the Panthers, and it's third and two now from about the seven-yard line. Play action, though. Pickett looks. No one's able to hold the rush off of the left-hand side. Pickett goes down. Jalen Johnson in the backfield, and the Panthers will be forced to settle for a J-bump field goal. Have Having the Huskies advantage at six to three here late in the first quarter. Washington will take over. At about the 19 here, Browning, one final play, finds his tight end. That's Drew Sample for five yards, and that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. Your Pitt Panthers trailing the Washington Huskies here in the Orange Bowl, the college football playoff semifinal, 6-3. So we welcome you back to the Pitt Panthers Football Network. Start of the second quarter here with the Washington Huskies top ranked in the nation leading your Pitt Panthers 6-3 to three in the Orange Bowl. And that lead is going to get that much bigger. Andre Baselia... First play from scrimmage here in the second quarter. He gets completely behind the Panthers' secondary. Browning finds him wide open, and he waltzes into the end zone. Easy touchdown for the Huskies, and just like that, they jumpstart their advantage into double figures, 13-3, to with that huge 78-yard touchdown. Maurice French, though, shows off some fantastic, puts a defender in the spin cycle, and then he goes airborne. 44-yard return for French. Now, he's been the Panthers' most electric player by far today here in the return game. And the Panthers with good field position, at least, to start their opening drive of the second quarter. Pickett doesn't see anybody downfield. Rolls out. Picks up nine. He's done better rushing the football. He hasn't even completed a pass yet for the Panthers here. As we're into the second quarter, it's amazing that they're hanging tough in this game. Good run from Quadri Olsen, though, for 11 yards. Panthers already at 100 yards rushing for the day. Pickett back to pass. Looks forced to run rollout throws it away here and a flag on the play might be a holding call it is I think that's Quadri Olison, the Panthers halfback that stayed in the block unfortunately got caught with his hand in the cookie jar a little bit of the habeas grabis and it'll set up first and 20 now for the Panthers pick it looks underneath he's got his tight end that's freshman Antonio Greer for seven yards pick its first completion of the day it's a short one it's gonna be second and 13 now for the Panthers three wide set tight end shotgun formation for Pickett. He's back to pass. Jailbreak blitz. He looks over the middle. Great throw 
splits the seam there. It's an unbelievable needle in the haystack type throw. Finds Aaron Matthews, perfect first down yardage, and the Panthers are into Washington territory near the 30. Olison, a great run out of the shotgun. He's been very proficient from those kind of shotgun off-tackle type runs so far. We'll see if the Panthers keep taking advantage of that as they try and spread out this Washington defense. That's going to lean on the Panthers rushing attack. Third and four. Now Pickett rolls out. Has a man. That's Trey tipped, and he finds him this time. Picks up about nine, does the redshirt junior. And that's going to be first down yardage for the Panthers. Second and ten. Now it's a five-wide set. French goes in motion. Pickett back. Easy rush. He's got French underneath. Spin move from French again. You can see he's been hitting those spinoramas. Must be hitting that circle button over there on the uh, the old PS4 controller. Great run from Maurice French after the catch. Sets up third one. George Aston, the Swiss Army knife like we mentioned here goes through the middle picks up two sets up first and goal but after a delay of game penalty the Panthers are five yards back at the nine yard line here first and goal shotgun formation it's Olison out wide spin move and he will dance into the end zone Quadri Olison touchdown for the Panthers and they are right back in this game a methodical drive for the Panthers Olison puts his defender in the spin cycle and just like that the Panthers have marched down the field and got into double digits their first touchdown here in the Orange Bowl and Washington now leads just 13 to 10 but Andre Baselia continues to be a huge thorn in the Panthers side here he picks up 29 yards it looked like about 10 of them came after the catch there and just like that one play Washington's already near midfield but great tackle that's Dwayne Hendricks the senior defensive end getting into the backfield his first tackle of the game brings down Gaskin for a big loss and it's third and long now Browning looks plenty of time eventually airs out he's got a man that's Quentin Pounds he's pushed out of bounds they beat the Panthers zone looked like it was a cover three and Washington ran four deep routes there. Browning had just enough time to find the open man and Pounds was it. Huge first down near the Panthers five yard line. First and goal though Dotson goes nowhere. The Panthers still looking to put on another red zone stand here. Second goal Browning it's a handoff to Gaskin and the Panthers pressure up the middle. Brings him down that's Celine Brightwell with the tackle third and goal now. The Panthers looking to stand tall. Browning back. It's a screen. They've got Dotson again. The Panthers converge on him. I think that was Dennis Briggs, the senior safety with a great stop there at the two. And Washington is going for it. Heavy formation to the right. Eye formation. It's a handoff up the middle to Hall. He's brought down. Salim Brightwell hits him at the line of scrimmage. James Hall goes nowhere. And the Panthers with an incredible momentum changing fourth down stop. You you can see their sideline is absolutely electrified. Briggs and Narduzzi sharing a high five there as the Panthers take over on downs. And Olison with a nice job here on first down, getting them out of the shadow of their own end zone with a good solid four-yard run. They're still only at the six, though. Second and six. It's Olison off tackle yet again. He's got a ton of room. That's 17 yards for the senior running back out of Niagara Falls, New York. And first down yardage for the Panthers. Their rushing attack has been incredibly strong. Again, even against one of the best teams in the country. Pickett rolls out. Has a man underneath, but he elects to go deep into double coverage. And it's intercepted by JoJo McIntosh. The safety comes across and picks off Kenny Pickett. And if you look back on that play, Pickett had a man on a slant underneath. I think that was uh, Aaron Matthews that had the available run, uh, looked open under the, underneath across the middle of the field, but Pickett had his eyes set on Maurice French on that deep ball there. He went for it, and unfortunately just wasn't able to connect. It was read by uh, JoJo McIntosh playing, at, you know, Rover at the top of the formation there. It's a great interception by him. And Washington looking to put a dagger in the Panthers here after Paris Ford is flagged uh, for a face mac Turns a 5-yard gain into a 20-yard gain. And just like that, Washington is into Panther territory. And it's Chico McClatcher with a nice 21-yard gain. The nice corner route to the sideline. Browning with a perfect little touch throw finds him. And they are into the red zone again. But Browning is brought down. Paris Ford makes up for his flag earlier there as he brings down Brown for a big loss third and 13 now with just over a minute to play in the first half Browning back to pass and he's brought down Sean Wolfgang the Panthers leading sacker the actual leading sacker in NCAA Division 1 football this season adds to his total brings down Browning 
forces Washington into their third field goal of the first half, and that makes it 16-10 Huskies with just about a minute to play, but Maurice French gets a huge block. For some reason, Washington keeps kicking it down the sidelines where French has taken such advantage of that very advantageous returns for the Panthers as they're near midfield yet again. Paul Leese with a great little slant route. Pickett finds him underneath third and four with just about 30 seconds to play here in the first half. Pickett five wide set in the shotgun as he tries to lead the Panthers on a scoring drive. Over the middle, nearly intercepted, looking for Lease. And Washington will take things to the end of the half here, leading 16-10 to in a pretty hotly contested Orange Bowl. You have to say the Panthers showing some fight defensively, especially in their own half of the field. Washington's been passing with reckless abandon, 228 passing yards already. But the Panthers have done a nice job. They've at least controlled the tempo of the clock. 134 rushing yards is what you'd expect to see out of the Panthers. The biggest issue, though, two turnovers. Of course, the Quadri Olison fumble that Washington turned into a field goal, and then the Kenny Pickett interception, which ended up leading to another field goal. Uh, so six points off of turnovers, and more than anything else, it prevents the Panthers from creating any kind of offense when they don't have the ball anymore, especially giving it to Washington with relatively good field position. So if the Panthers can contain the ball, can keep it in their possession here in the second half, you'll wonder what can happen here moving forward. So we welcome you back to the second half here on the Pit Panthers Football Network of the Discover Orange Bowl. Your Pit Panthers hanging in there with the number one ranked Washington Huskies 16-10 to here as they trail. The Huskies do open the second half with the football and they've got an early first down. Miles Gaskin getting just enough to move the chains here and the Huskies uh, try and extend their advantage here. They've been very, very strong passing the football but they make a mistake. They're browning looking for the screen. It's going to be Dane Jackson jumping that route and going the other way. We talked at halftime about how important it would be for the Panthers to win the turnover battle in the second half and on the fourth play from scrimmage here in the third quarter they do exactly that. Dane Jackson jumping on the route intended for Quinton Pounds and he goes the distance. The Panthers with the opportunity to take their first lead and they do on the extra point in a college football playoff semifinal matchup. Incredibly, who would have expected at the beginning of this season? Your Pitt Panthers coming off an eight and five year last year, where they finished with three consecutive losses. Things looked a bit down in the dumps for the Panthers, and they have just come out absolutely guns blazing this season. Just one single blemish on their uh, you know, record this season, and they're looking to knock off one of the only unblemished teams remaining in the entire NCAA in the Washington Huskies. And they take the ball over here after a Huskies punt pit with the opportunity to potentially extend their lead here very early in the second half. Pick it here, second, seven, it's a handoff to Olsen. Plenty of room to the outside. Maurice French with some fantastic edge blocking yet again. The Panthers up to 160 rushing yards on the day already. And as they move deeper and deeper into Washington territory. A little bit of a misdirection here. It's George Aston, the Swiss Army Knife, as we've always called him. Great running there for about 11 yards. The Panthers in the red zone here. First and 10 at the 15. Olison shakes off a defender there on the screen. Picks up about five, gets to the 10-yard line. Aston in motion now. Olison, the lone man in the backfield. It's another handoff to him. Looks up the middle. He stopped just short. It looked like his knee hit down before he got to the first down marker so it's gonna be third and inches cj london the true freshman coming in to spell olsen gets the handoff and he's got first down yardage does the running back there tw number 29 in your program books Fantastic bit of running. Olison's back now. First and goal. He runs into his own uh, blocker. I think that was Antonio Greer. He bumped into his back and unfortunately loses some yards here. The Panthers, though, bit of costly play. 
Second and goal. They wait too long to get the playoff. Delay a game that's going to push them back five yards to about the 11-yard line. So it'll be second and goal now. But in a little bit, you could say less advantageous, but it spreads the field out a bit more. Pickett, though, goes for about four yards. So the Panthers basically back where they were now as we set up on third and goal. Shotgun formation, three wide for Pickett. Looks pressure coming. Gets it away, and it's a touchdown. Pickett finds Trey Tipton in the corner of the end zone. Only 56 yards through the air on the day for Kenny, but he gets seven yards when it counts. That's Trey Tipton gets a foot down. Touchdown Panthers as they take an eight-point lead here as the third quarter winds down in the Orange Bowl. I, I can't say it enough how incredible it is that these Panthers are in a position to potentially make the college football playoff national championship game at this point in this season. A costly penalty again, though, another 15-yarder. The Panthers being hugely penalized in this game. That's playing a big role in allowing Washington to keep some drives sustained as Paris Ford takes a penalty. Drew Sample is now found by Jake Browning on a nice little corner route, and that's going to get first down yards for the Huskies into Panthers territory. Browning to hand off to Miles Gaskin. Plenty of room to the outside. Shakes off a tackle, pushes away Dane Jackson, and Dwayne Hendricks eventually brings him down after a gain of seven and a first down. So Washington trying to just keep things moving here. They're being a bit more methodical. Some shorter plays. Not looking for the big ones. Just trying to get enough yardage. That's Quinton Pounds with a first down. Setting up Washington here for goal to go. Third and goal. It's Jake Browning up the middle. And he's into the end zone. A man who's been so efficient passing the football in his career. But he runs it into the end zone this time. And Washington now will come out looking for a two-point conversion to set this game even keel. As we're about to head into the fourth quarter. It's a handoff. It's Gaskin. He Cuts it back. He's brought down and somehow he stays up and gets in, converts. It looked like he may have actually fallen on a Panther and that allowed him to stay up just long enough to fall into the end zone and tie the score all square here between your Pitt Panthers and the Washington Huskies as the Panthers look to essentially round out and finish out the third quarter here. It's going to send us in to the fourth quarter of the Discover Orange Bowl college football playoff semifinal. Your Pitt Panthers and the Washington Huskies tied 24-24. So we are all square as we start the fourth quarter here of the Orange Bowl College Football Playoff Semifinal between your Pitt Panthers and the Washington Huskies. Kenny Pickett looking for another deep ball and nearly intercepted by McIntosh. Yet again deflected away to start the fourth quarter. And it's going to set up third and three now for the Panthers. Motion man is a handoff to Olsen. And he is brought down in the backfield. No push from the Panthers offensive line. And Pitt will be forced to punt it away here Washington looking to take the lead here early in the fourth quarter and it's a great throw from Jake Bryan to Quinton Pounds gets out of bounds after a 12-yard gain and crosses the Huskies over midfield Miles Gaskin of course goes for it he's brought down potentially another personal foul face mask on the Panthers the fourth time I think they've been called for that today Jason Jordan this time was the guilty party He's caught with his hand in the cookie jar, and it's a big gainer for Washington and gets him to about the 30-yard line now. Quinton Pounds, nice 11-yard catch for the first down as Washington nears the Panthers' red zone where they have struggled to move the ball a bit all day, but it's Andre Baselia, the man who's been such a thorn in the Panthers' side, gets a bit of separation there before he's brought down uh, and does get first down yards. Miles Gaskin on first and goal gets forward for about five yards to the three-yard line. Washington looks Looking to punch things in. Potentially a Jake Browning run again. This time it's a handoff. It's going to be Dotson. And he dots and darts his way through the hole to the left side of the offensive line. First down. Touchdown, excuse me, for the Huskies. And the Panthers will be playing catch up for the first time since early in the third quarter when they took that lead on the Dane Jackson interception. And we'll see how the Panthers offense can do when they maybe can't lean on the running game as much if the clock does start to become a factor. But Quadri is not going to let that happen if he's going to eat up big chunks of yardage like that. 14 yards on the ground for the senior running back who does not want this to be his last game in blue and gold for the Panthers here. Picks up five and that's another first down as the Panthers do choose some clock in 
inside the seven minute mark of the fourth quarter. It's CJ London now, the freshman, trying to make the most of his rookie campaign for the Panthers. Picks up seven there. It's going to be second and three. Bunch formation to pick its raise. He's under center. Looks. He's got Rafael Arujo Lopes, the red shirt senior. Goes for eight yards. And it's another first down for the Panthers. Shotgun handoff. It's Olison again. He's got plenty of room. Bust forward. Fights his way six yards, but he's just short of the first down marker, so it's third and inches. And George Aston, the Swiss Army Knife, is in heavy formation for the Panthers. And Aston finds room up the middle, gains five, and that's a first down for the Panthers to about the 12-yard line. Shotgun formation. It's Olison off tackle yet again. Doesn't find a ton of running room as Washington swarms forward. Picks up about three. It's going to be second and seven as Olison hits 150 yards rushing for the game. So pick it. Five wide set in the shotgun here inside the 10-yard line. He's back, looks, rolls out to his right, dumps it off eventually. That's Benjamin Ogden, the red shirt freshman receiver out of Texas, gets two, and it's third and five now for the Panthers. Bunch formation to pick its right shotgun with Olsen in there. Will it be a handoff, or will they put the ball into Kenny Pickett's hand? Pick it, back, looks, it's intercepted! JoJo McIntosh jumps the route yet again! His second interception on the day, and it is a potential game changer. Less than four minutes to play, and Washington may have a chance to run out the clock if they can get first downs here. Unbelievable job by McIntosh. If you watch it back again in slow motion, Pickett had a man breaking to the corner of the end zone, but instead he locked in on what looked like Paul Leese there and just wasn't able, or excuse me, he had Paul Lee's breaking open in the corner of the end zone, and instead looked for Arujo Lopes underneath, intercepted, and Washington now with the opportunity to try and stretch the clock here. Gaskin goes underneath for a nice eight-yard gain, third and two, with just about two minutes to play. The Panthers holding on to those timeouts with hopes that they can get the ball back, but it's Drew Sample stumbling and fumbling his way forward for a 13-yard gain. It's a first down for the Huskies with about a minute and a half to play. Now the Panthers they're still holding on to those uh, timeouts to try and potentially save the game. Browning's got a man underneath. That's Holland. We haven't heard much of him today. Eric Holland, their second tight end, but he gets 50 and a first down. And Narduzzi finally forced to use his timeouts. And a great stop. That's Dennis Briggs. Doesn't want his career to end here. Makes a nice tackle in the backfield. Third and 10 now for the Huskies after a run goes nowhere. Panthers out of timeouts. A first down will win it. And that's Chico McClatcher over the middle. Browning, who's been so efficient passing the ball today, it's only fitting that he finds a man over the middle open. And the Huskies, for as much trouble as the Panthers gave them, will emerge victorious and will be on their way to the college football playoff national championship game. Just an unbelievable kind of, you know, matchup between two titans of this season the panthers who've been so incredible running the football they leaned on that and what's amazing is the areas where they really hurt themselves was when they did pass the football pick it uh for as well as he's done this season he's been a very competent quarterback just two untimely interceptions of course that one uh, there in the fourth quarter will surely be something that motivates him going forward to next season. And he wants to play in the future here like Jake Brown. Five incompletions, 370 yards passing, a bunch of touchdowns. Unbelievable day here for the senior quarterback as he takes his team to the national championship. And that's you know the one thing the Panthers can take away from this. Of course, they all have their heads down now, but those guys that will be back next year can use this as motivation, fuel for the fire. And, you know, ACC champions... Two losses on the season. Their first ACC championship under Pat Narduzzi. So many positive steps were taken this season. We thank you for joining us on this journey on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. And we promise you, we will be back. There will be more Pitt Panthers football coming up. And we will be here for you to go into season four looking for a national championship. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, hail to Pitt. We'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.